Hello and welcome to Learn Digital Design. This will be our 13th Inkscape tutorial. If you haven't viewed our previous tutorials yet, you can find them on the web at www.learndigitaldesign.com. And if you're a seasoned pro, you can move ahead as far as you like into our more advanced tutorials. Today we're going to talk about tracing something that you would like to vectorize to use in your digital designs. So uh, what we're going to do to do that is first we're going to import an image. This uh, little uh, icon up here to the top below the object area here is important bitmap or bitmap or SVG image into this document. Let's click that now and then you know where your document is. You can find it on your hard drive and this is chicken tutorial. Let's click it and then we see a preview here and go to open. Now it's opened. I'm going to zoom out a little bit so we can see it. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to lock this image so it doesn't move around as we go. Uh, to take that back first, actually, I'm going to uh, make it a little bit more transparent so it's so we can uh, see our tracing a little bit better. Let's go to Fill and Stroke, Control Shift F, and bring down the opacity. That looks good. Close that. Now we're going to grab this and we're going to right click on it and go to Object Properties and a lock. Now this now it doesn't matter what we do, we cannot select this or move it around. Now go to your Bezier Curve tool. Let's zoom in a little. And now we're going to start tracing around this image with the Bezier Curve tool. This tool will help us get all of our smooth curves as we go. Now you notice I'm going over some things. You're going to learn that as you're tracing, you have to know or have some kind of idea, at least, of where your uh, specific objects are going to be because each image that you create is going to have more than one object associated with it before you group them. And after you group them, for two for that matter. See, I accidentally uh, stopped this line here, but that's not the end of the world. We don't have to start over. We can just continue our line here. And you see I'm not needing to do a whole lot of bending to make these lines more curved. A lot of times you only need to do it very slightly to get the effect that you desire. I am using a graphics tablet with this, so I might be able to do it a little bit faster than those of you who only have a mouse. If you're going to get serious about digital design, I would uh, highly recommend that you invest in a graphics tablet. You can find them out there for not very much at all nowadays. I believe mine cost forty-four dollars. Now we have the chicken's body traced out here. Now let's come up here to the face and zoom in here. Now, we're going to make some things that are going to be other objects here. Since I have a pen tool, honestly, here I would use the pencil tool to more quickly draw around this on some of these rough edges. But I know that all of you don't have pencil tools. So I'm going to continue with the basic curve tool here. This uh, beak here is going to appear to overlap this other object that I've already created, but that's okay because it's actually going to be behind that object when we're done. To do these eyes here, I'm just going to grab a circle tool and then make another circle inside of a circle. 
like this and we'll come back later and adjust these sizes for the inside of the mouth I'm just going to take my phaser curve tool here and draw the mouth like that and at the end of this line I'm just going to press enter zoom out let's come to this wing here this is going to be a little bit different type object than the body or the beak because on this object I'm not going to close it off at the end I'm just going to leave it open enter now here let's just do these feet here Trying to keep my pen from squeaking too badly here. Alright, almost done with this, and then we're gonna move along to the next step. Okay, let's zoom out a little and see what we've got here. Alright, and here's the finished product so far. We're gonna pick this up in the next tutorial number 14 I'm trying to keep these tutorials as close to five minutes as possible so in the next tutorial we'll go over starting to put some fill into this and uh, making it look a little bit more like a chicken